Now finally look at the star and the headlines is foreigners want regime change in 2017. This is according to the president's speech yesterday where he said there's foreign interference and apparently there's already money coming in under the guise of uh, civil education and helping governance and all that. But according to him, it is uh, foreigners who want to interfere with the polls. Well, as much as Kenya as a sovereign state is entitled to and its, and its citizens, we're entitled to make our own choices with regards to elections. I think uh, squarely when it comes to issue of uh, civic education, uh, funding of uh, NGOs, I think the Constitution of Kenya guarantees everyone the right of association, mm. the right of participation and free political choices. That one is guaranteed. Uh, on that one, I think the president cannot unilaterally say that there should be no money coming in to support civil society organizations. IBC as a government agency in itself is already overwhelmed. IBC alone cannot carry out civic education in all parts of the country. Right. IBC Act in itself allows for IBC to partner with other uh, like-minded mm -hmm. organizations in terms of civic education, in, in terms of voter empowerment. Of course, Kenyans know how to vote. Kenyans know who they'll vote for, who they want to vote for. But ultimately, there's some other issues of the electoral process that IBC will, will need help with, especially from the IG, NGO sector. Right. And you cannot do that without funding. So funding is critical. Funding coming in uh, from uh, uh, foreigners is not necessarily meant to stabilize the, the, the state but to help empower the democratic movement. Absolutely. Yes. Well, that's the newspaper review for you this morning.